smack is how the wind feels on the face of Mike Winfield on his way home from the bar where he works nights, the worst nights. Don't nobody tip right. And between the marriage offers and the fist fights. And if another motherfucker touches wrist trying to pull him in the whisper, he ain't making it to midnight. Don't they know we got a lighter in his pocket, a matchbook in his sock, and a block full of charred skeletons closeted, begging to get out. He paused cause he's scared of airing out the thoughts. He can taste it in his mouth, a sulfur and bitter carbon, hearing all the burning body shout. But no, that was a full lifetime ago, and nobody ever has to know. He has never told, well, except Ronald. But that don't count. He was sweet and exactly what he needed him to be at the time. Wine and candlelight and nice text at lunchtime. Why had he not called Ron back? Guess there just wasn't a spark. Ha! No, no, mustn't joke about these things. Wouldn't want to disappoint Doc Clark. So many hours on a couch. So many buried memories that take so many tears to get them out. Water had never been a friend. Hold up. Where had he seen that car before? Blue Acura dent on the left rear fender. Back again to censor. Deja vu. Strange things you never shake when you wake up in recovery. But suddenly noticing ashes covering his head because it's raining from the sky. Dials home on his cell phone and gets no reply. What the fuck? Where is the babysitter that he overpays? Body takes over and brain becomes disengaged. Michael is running. His house is three blocks away. Adrenaline compensating for changing age since the last time that he ran it. God damn it. Mike knows he gotta get home fast as he can. Looks up in the sky. Glows familiar. Knows those families died with similar onyx and on and on. He keeps going. Hits the corner just as he hears the explosion. Screams come from the house. Did you get them out? Mike asking the crowd that has gathered round. Tears running down his face. There's that familiar taste. He wishes it would take him to another place. Son and his baby girl in his home and he can't believe that it's gone in a cloud of smoke and he's choking and running forward and hoping against hope that he might find them alive and well. But he knows the results too well and he knows that he fooled himself and he keeps walking towards the house. Rather what house is still left? No intention of stopping letting the smoke take his breath. Some strong arm knocks him aside. Mike falls to the ground and cries. Why won't you just let me die? Why won't you just let me die?